Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Gina Helmy, and today's video is going to be about this makeup look right here. Um, so first, I start with a clean face. I fill in my eyebrows with the Cabrow by Benefit. I love this thing. I have an, an entire video teaching how to do the feathering eyebrow technique to make them look natural. I'll leave that video in the description box below if you would like to check it out. And then I just used some brown, brown mascara um, to fix my eyebrows in. Then I go in with my Sephora number no. 9 concealer. I love this concealer so much. Um, so I'm just going around my eyebrows and just anywhere that I need to be concealing. And then I just blend it using this brush. Uh, I've mentioned this brush in a previous video. Um, I do love this brush as well because it's so easy, it blends everything so seamlessly. And then I use my Kat Von D powder right here. Um, I just use it around my face and then I use a brush uh, to make sure it gets all over my face. And then I use my Sephora palette here. I start with a lighter color and I use this one all over my eyelid. And then I use a little bit darker one uh, just for the edges of my eyelids so I don't go right in the middle. And here I'm just using my Athena palette. I love this palette too because the colors are so pigmented you guys. I'm just using the purple color here. Uh, as you can see, the look is kind of unicorny and pretty. And I just make sure that it's all blended before I go in with the concealer. I'm just going to use this concealer on the very edge of my eyelid. Um, and then I just look up to see where my top mark is. And I just blend it around my eyelid. And simply using the same brush that I used for the purple color, I make sure there's no harsh edges. And then I move on to the pearly purple color, which is so freaking pretty. Um, and so I'm just using this where I applied my concealer. And then with the lightest color that I have in this palette, um, I just kind of lighten underneath my eyebrows. And then this is the um, L'Oreal eyeliner. I will mention it in the description box below if you want to get the same one. And I'm just doing my eyeliner here, going off of the kind of the, the mark where the eyeshadow ends. On both sides since it was it looked really symmetrical and I really like doing this I just go over my eyeliner with a black very dark black powder and then here I'm just using the Stila Kitten Karma color uh, for the glitter on the go for the inner corners of my eyes and just blending it in then for the lower portion of my eyes I use an, uh, the same black that I used for my eyeliner uh, but just the shadow to create that shadow kind of effect underneath the eyeliner and I think this looks really really pretty I don't see a lot of people wearing eyeliner like this um, on their daily basis but I really love this because it makes your eyes look so much wider and then I just apply my better than sex mascara and I move on to my foundation I love this foundation uh, by Tarte and here I'm just kind of spreading it all over my face uh, using this foundation brush. And then I move on to my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. I just apply it where I want things to look lighter 
Um, so that's just what I'm doing here around my eyebrows, underneath my eyes, and then I just blend it in with the foundation that I put before. And after I'm done, I move on to the tardiest Pro Glow. Um, as you know, if you've seen any of my other videos, I use it so much. I love the bronzer, I love the highlights, I love everything about this thing. And I'm just uh, contouring my nose here uh, very lightly. I don't do any harsh con contours. Um, and then using the same uh, kit, I just highlight my nose. And then using the Tarte uh, blush, I just go on the upper part of my cheeks and on my chin. And sometimes I use it on my forehead too. And this is the Fenty Beauty highlighter. I love this highlighter so much, you guys. It, it's really, really pretty. I, like, I would recommend buying the big size from it. I just got this one with the lip gloss and I honestly love both. And here I'm just using the same highlighter for underneath my eyebrows. And I realized there was a little piece in my eyebrows that needed to be filled in, so I just did that. And then I move on to the final part, and I just stick those underneath my eyes and just make sure they are symmetrical. And then for the lipstick, um, I tried this look. And um, just to add for the rest of my lip, I use the Smashbox color. Try to find some, something similar to it um, and link it in the description box below. But I ended up blending it all in uh, because I don't know if I want to go out like that. But I really like the way it looked and I like the way it looks now too. Um, and that's really the final look for you guys. I'm um, just fixing the lipstick, uh, like just the final part. But that is it for today's video. I hope y'all enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!